What's up, y'all? Welcome to another video. Today, we are going to be ranking the AOW characters and going over some of the stuff, the uh, leaks of AOW Season 4. So, if you enjoy the video, feel free to sub to my channel. No, and now I'm forcing. And you can also check out my friend Ace's channel, who is the owner of AOW. Sorry if I sound weird or if I'm talking weird. It's because there's an echo and it's, and it's hard to talk with the echo repeating everything I'm saying so loudly. Anyways, uh, so you might be wondering why I'm doing this on Google Slides and not an actual tier list. Uh, I couldn't manage to figure out how the tier list works, so I'm just doing it here. Yeah, I'm a bit goofy. Uh, so here's some background on AOW. So similar to Fade Royale. AOW is this huge island that's basically an open world map filled with locations and storyline to decipher. Uh, there is no Battle Royale mode as of right now, uh, but that could change. And we are currently on Season 2, almost Season 3. And in this video, I'm just going to be ranking all the characters from the storyline so far. So, without further ado, let's go over the tiers. So... Um, um, on S tier, we got pepperoni pizza, because, I mean, come on, pepperoni pizza's a W in my opinion. Then we have above average, so, you know, great, you know, not, like, great, you know, above the expectation. Then we have could be better, so skins on this list, you know, they're fine, the characters are fine, you know, but they could get some improvement. Eh, not the best in my opinion. This is for skins that I just don't really like, or I feel like could- or at least characters that I don't really like, or that I think could get some improvement. And then we have Timmy's Toothbrush, and if you watch the Fade Royale episodes, you'd know what that means. So let's begin, shall we? Alright! And if you're in Canada, by the way, Happy Thanksgiving. Alright. So first off, we have Emma. Emma has appeared in almost every episode. And she's basically like the main character of AOW, I think. She's pretty cool. Uh, she has an interesting background. I think it's interesting how she can't talk, and how she has to basically communicate through other stuff. But... I gotta admit, she doesn't really have any interesting features. Unlike some of these other characters, she doesn't really have any uniqueness to her, in my opinion. And to be fair, this could be changed in future seasons, but for now, I think this is an okay character. Like, it could get some improvement in the lore behind them. And overall, in the entire AOW lore, we haven't really seen Emma do anything unique or interesting besides her transforming into the Carlo skin. So, for that reason, I'm gonna put her above could be better. She's not a bad character by any means, it's just that she hasn't really done much to really make me put her anywhere above this. So, I'm just gonna leave her at could be better for now. Alright. So next up, we got Ace. Ace is a very good character. He's got quite a bit of lore, still a lot of room to add more lore, but he's overall a really cool character. Uh, he definitely seems a lot in sorry, a lot more interesting than uh, Emma. Uh, we've seen him pair up with Malik, which we'll get into in a moment. He's a very cool character, very chill, very interesting, and for that, I'm gonna put him... Probably at Pepperoni Pizza. Like, probably not on the top, but, like... Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna put him at the top of Above Average. Because similar to Emma, he hasn't done anything too crazy or too big yet. But to be fair, AOW is still new. So, yeah, actually, you know what? No. Uh, pepperoni Pizza... Kind of at the bottom. Alright, that's where I put him. Next, you have the Hybrid Twins! Uh, I love the Hybrid Twins. I love how one's all serious and the other's funny and goofy and stuff. If there was one suggestion I could make, I would make them actually do more to the lore. Because as of right now, and especially in the more recent episodes, they've kind of just been jokes. Which is nice. Uh, especially to take away from the serious tone some that we sometimes get. 
but I just feel like they kind of could do more. As of right now, they haven't really brought anything new to the lore. They've kind of just been, you know, the comedic characters, which I like. I don't want them to just be serious and all that. But I feel like some improvements could be made. But overall, very good character. I'm going to put them above Ace and Pepperoni Pizza. Next up, we have Foxy. Uh, or Phoenix, or whatever he's called. I don't know if he has a name. Uh, he's appeared in a couple episodes. He's an okay character. I mean, he is kind of rude, and I don't really like his personality. Not because, like, he's a bad character, but just because I don't like his personality, which I think is the whole point. Um, he hasn't really done anything- well, actually, I can't say that. He's an okay character. I don't really- I just don't really like him. Not because he's a bad character, but because his personality he just seems so rude. And, but overall, when it comes to the lore, he's had a decent lore, he's... We still don't really know who he is. Again, AOW is a very new map, so we don't really know too much about the lore, there's still time to expand. Uh, but for him, I'm probably gonna put him on Could Be Better. Because, even though he is a good character, there's still more that they could add to him to kind of make him a more interesting character. So for now, I'm going to put him on Could Be Better. Next up, we got Malik. Okay. So Malik is a really cool character. Uh, I'm kind of biased since I do voice him, but he's quite cool. He's chill. He's, you know, he's Malik. You know, he, he's a really cool character, though. In his scenes, he has very good combat, very good martial artist. Um, you know, he's a very chill person, he's got quite a bit of lore and a lot of more room to add more lore, and he's overall just a really cool character. I'm not just saying that because I, you know, voice him, I think he's a really good character. So for that, I'm gonna put him on probably the top, top of pepperoni pizza so far. He's a really good character, very good. I really like his lore, I like his attitude, I like, you know, his characteristics. I think, I think he's a cool guy. Chill dude. Alright. Next, Next up we got... got I, I'm, gonna I'm gonna call him Toaster. Toaster. So we got Toaster. Toaster, similarly to... Oh wait, no, never mind. Uh, Toaster hasn't appeared that much. He only appeared in one episode, which is, I believe, the season one finale. So, he doesn't really have much lore. He kind of just helped Emma, gave her a sword, and then ran away. But I think he has a lot of room to be a good character. He seems chill. Uh, he seems like he could be a bit of a funny character, too. I don't know if he's gonna appear in the future. So for now, I'll just put him on Could Be Better. Because there's not really much to go off of him. And similar to him, we got Seeker. So Seeker, we don't really know much about Seeker. Uh, you know, he appeared again once also in the Season 1 finale. And he was helping out uh, Phoenix. So, he's an okay character. Again, needs more room for the storyline. You know, there's more room to add on some interesting stuff to him, but as of right now, he's kind of just a bland character. Not because he's a bad character, because there's just nothing new to him, you know? For Fade Royale, for example, I try to give characters interesting characteristics, stuff to make them different from each other. You know, Ralph, for example, Ralph has a background with his sister and all that. Fade, you know, he's just a chill person who's trying to find his purpose. Timmy's a goofy, goofy, goof, goof. Uh, so yeah. Again, I can't blame Ace because he's a new character, but yeah, he could, he could be improved, but so far he's okay. So I'm gonna put him above... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll put him above Toaster Man. Actually, no, 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 Toaster Man's W. Sorry. Alright. All right. So, next up we got Condor. So this one's gonna need a couple explaining for the viewers. So I know what you're thinking, this isn't the Condor skin. So, if you follow the Fade Royale episodes, you'll know that the antagonist for Fade Royale is Condor. Uh, something that you might not know about AOW is that AOW is technically connected to Fade Royale. Like, there are characters in Fade Royale that used to be in AOW. Not that many, though. Uh, 
and, and Condor, Condor is one of them. And in, in future episodes, we'll kind of explore that. that. But this is basically supposed to be, I think, Condor before he got his armor. I personally think it's an odd choice, but hey, you know, Condor may have had a different style back then, you know? So I didn't know what the skin was, so I just took a screenshot from one of the episodes. Uh, so he's appeared a bit. He's an okay character. I mean, I really like what I did with Condor and Fade Royale. And obviously, in Fade Royale, that's a more improved Condor, that, as in, because he's appeared more, that's a more mature, more experienced Condor. So this is kind of his beginnings, you know? And for that, you know, he's a good character. He has, he has a lot of potential for the lore, you know? I just... He's a good character. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to say he's a bad character. He's good, and he has a lot of lore potential. And for that... Uh, you know, we have yet to see him anything to do, I'm sorry, we have yet to see him do anything too interesting, but he's still got a lot of potential, and for that, I'm gonna give him above average at the very top. Very good character. If I were Ace, I would maybe give him more to do, but yet, you know, we are still, you know, he, he was introduced not too long ago, so, yeah. That's that. Alright, All right. next, next up, up hey, what, what, what Timmy doing on this list? Yo, get him out of here! I'm just kidding. Alright, All right. so this is, actually, I believe, either Timmy's grandfather, or his father, we're not too sure right now. He doesn't have a name yet, uh, and he appeared in the season 2 episode, the more re most recent one. And he's a very funny character, I like him. I like his voice, it's really funny. I like, I like his character. character. He's, He's a very, very fun, fun guy. guy. You, know, you know, he, yeah. uh... He seems, he seems chill. chill. He seems fun. fun. I, I, I like I that. <laughs> I, I really want to see more of him in the future of, of uh, AOW. Uh, I, I, one scene that I thought was really funny was when he was about to take down Emma, and then Emma just started chasing him. <laughs> Uh, I, I want to see more of him. I want to see more of him. He's a very great character, and he's one of those characters where I actually want to see more. So, you know what? I'm for that. I'm gonna put him in pepperoni pizza right behind Malik. Almost in front of him. Alright. Let me put this over here. Alright. So, next up we got Pilemon! So. Sorry. Similar, similar to, to uh, the, other the other characters, characters. We, haven't we haven't really seen much of Pili Bond. Bond. We've only we've seen him once in one scene. Uh, uh so, so he, does he does appear in Fade Royale. Royale. He's one of the characters in Fade Royale, and, and he doesn't, doesn't do much. much. I mean, he doesn't have much lore right now, but he's, he's a really, really cool character. character. And, and because we do know where he is in Fade Royale. We do know how where he ends up in Fade Royale, like we know characteristic-wise where he is in Fade Royale. But since this is beginnings, I think personally, Pili Bond, he has a lot of potential. He has lots of potential to have be a funny, relatable character, to be a character that I want to see more on screen. Uh, and he's not a bad character by any means, he just hasn't appeared that much, so, you know, I'm just gonna put him above average. Not because he's a bad character, I just think, you know, he just, he just needs more stuff, you know? Like, like all these characters. Very, very good character, though. Very good, very good character. <laughs> now we have this person. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna be honest, I already forgot, forgot who she, she what her name is. She, she appeared in AOW, in AOW uh, uh, during, I think, the, the, the season 2 episode? And I, and I believe she's working with Condor. She doesn't, she doesn't really do much. Uh, doesn't really have much lore behind her. Similar to Phoenix, she's also, I think, a bad guy, and she also is someone who gets on my nerves. Uh, overall, kind of a bland character. Not to be rude, but what can I say? Uh, she's she has lots of potential, but right now she doesn't really have anything interesting to her. Uh, so for that. You know, you know, I'm just gonna put her at the top of. Could be, could be better. Or in. 
not the, not the best, best in my opinion. opinion. Just because it's kind of questionable why Condor would work with this person. Maybe there's some lore behind it. But yeah, that can work. We can work on that. And then finally, we got Yeti. Yeti guy's pretty cool. Uh, he's pretty cool. Yeti guy. Uh, he doesn't really appear that much. He appeared in the season two most recent episode. He's fine. He just doesn't really have any character. He doesn't have a lore yet. I don't know if we'll even go into him yet in the future. So I'll just put him at uh, here. Because he... Actually... No, it's not his fault that he doesn't have that much lore. I'm gonna put him there. Alright, I think this is my final tier list. So as you can see, you know, we got the pepperoni pizza... All that. So no one's got Timmy's toothbrush, which is pretty interesting. Overall, when it comes to AOW, I think AOW has a lot of potential to be almost as good, even better than Fate Royale. AOW is a good map. Uh, I couldn't really do a tier list on anything else just because, you know, there's only like one POI, which is Wavy Waters, which would have obviously been Pepperoni Pizza. And I couldn't remember any of the POIs from Season 3, which hasn't even released yet. For AOW, I feel like a suggestion I would make to you, Ace, if you're watching this, is I would make it a bit more... How do I word this? I feel like I would have planned things more. Because, like, you definitely have a lot of stuff planned. But, like, for Season 2, and I know you had a reason, I know you didn't like Season 2's theme, but Season 2 went by, like, you know, way too quickly. Oh, I just dropped something. My bad. It went by way too quickly, and then Season 3 came by, and now we're already getting ready for Season 4, essentially. Or we're getting hyped for it. It feels very random, that's the right word, random. The lore is good, though. I like the lore. Uh, that's, uh, that's one of the, the that's one of the things helping AW logs the lore because the lore, because the lore is very good. good. It's easy to follow. It's interesting. They're, they're not long episodes compared to Fade Royale. Royale. I mean, I mean, not, not all Fade Royale, Royale episodes, episodes are long though. They're like, they're like five to ten, ten minutes. minutes. Some are longer, but I, I doubt it. You know, you know so the, the lore is good. The lore is definitely very great. Very well impressed. You know, some, you know, some things here and there that could be improved, but overall, it's a good lore. It's a destructive... Wait, that's not a word. Uh, it's a good lore. It's just that, since it's not a BR map, gameplay-wise, there isn't really much to do, and it feels kind of random, and sometimes, you know, it can be a bit bland, since there's not really that many updates. But, do not let me dis dis discourage you. You know, I started somewhere too, I wasn't always good at making BR maps, but I made it to where I am now. You know, the lore has lots of potential, I'm very interested, I love some of these characters. Even the characters who I don't like as much, I think could become way more better characters. And I'll be here to help you out with the lore if you want, I can help you, you know, make these characters more interesting. Uh, but yeah, it's not like I hate any of these characters, these characters are great. Even like her, you know, it's just a like, you know, overall if I really have to rank them, I'd put them down here probably. Like, like she's, she's almost, almost at, at could be better. better. She's she's like, she's like in between, like right here, you know. But uh, if I had to pick, I'd probably put her here. Like yeah. yeah. So again, don't let me discourage you. You have great potential. AOW has great potential to become a great thing, and I love how it uses modular terrain. You know, I've always wanted to make a BR map with modular modular. What am I saying? I cannot talk, guys. I'm sorry. This echo is really annoying me. <laughs> Lots to get excited for for AOW. Season 3, I'm not even sure if that's out. But Season 4, uh, we've got quite a bit of leaks for Season 4. I guess we'll go over them a little bit right now. Uh, so, it looks that Season 4 is going to be a winter theme, which, according to Ace, will also include a winter biome. Which I'm very interested in, you know, winter is my, uh, favorite season. So, if we do get a winter biome, that'd be really cool, and I would really like that. Uh, but yeah. You know, we don't really know too much about season 4. Besides the whole snow biome and all that. Ace seems very excited, and hey, I'm excited too. So I guess we'll just have to see.
Uh, so, if you are interested in following AOW or checking out his channel, I'll put a link to him and his playlist of AOW's storyline and order in either the comments or the description, or most likely description. So I'll put a link to his channel, and I'll put a link to his playlist of AOW's storyline and order. And if you are interested in following Fail Fedor. Fade Royale, feel free to do so on this channel. Uh, I'm sure these episodes will give you some entertainment, but not forcing. You don't have to watch them if you don't want to. You know, check it out for yourself, and if you get interested, you can keep watching. If not, then, you know, you can not watch. And Ace, if you're watching this video, you better get that Fade Royale video done. I'm, I'm just really excited for that video. And, uh, hey, you know... Ace, you know, he's done many videos on Fade Royale, and I thought, hey, why don't I do one for AOW? So if you enjoy this video, and if you want me to do more AOW content, feel free to hit the like button, and let me know in the comments down below who what, some stuff about AOW if you want, I don't know. Um, God bless you guys, God and Jesus loves you guys, and be encouraged to repent to them and run to their open arms. AOW overall is a great map, has great potential, has some of its issues, but... I don't blame Ace for any of them, you know, he's got lots of potential, and I can't wait to see where AOW is gonna go. Alright, see you guys around.